Nobody saw this coming. While the world was waiting for Tesla's next big move, Toyota quietly dropped a bombshell, a brand new electric car priced at just $17,999. No flashy launch event, no cryptic tweets, no hype, just one simple announcement, and suddenly the entire auto industry froze. Because this isn't just another budget EV, this is Toyota, the same company that built the world's most reliable cars, stepping into the electric game and destroying the price barrier that's kept millions of people from owning an EV. And now, the unthinkable is happening. Tesla, BYD, and American automakers are all scrambling to figure out how Toyota pulled this off. How did a company that stayed quiet during the EV boom suddenly return with a car that's half the price of Tesla's cheapest model and still promises more range, more safety, and more trust? Because make no mistake, this move didn't just shock investors, it changed the future of the electric vehicle industry forever. But how did Toyota do it? What technology allowed them to sell an EV for the price of a used Corolla? And more importantly, is this the end of Tesla's dominance? Let's break down the secrets behind Toyota's $17,999 electric car, the one that's rewriting the rules of the EV world. For years, Toyota seemed like it was falling behind. While Tesla, Rivian, and BYD were grabbing headlines, Toyota stayed quiet, almost too quiet. Critics called them outdated. Some even said the company had missed the EV train. But what most people didn't realize was that Toyota wasn't asleep, it was waiting. This is the same brand that revolutionized the auto industry once before. Back in the early 2000s, when the world laughed at the idea of hybrid cars, Toyota launched the Prius, a car that completely changed how people thought about fuel efficiency. Within a few years, the Prius became a symbol of innovation, selling millions of units and earning Toyota billions. But after that, silence. While other automakers rushed into the electric race, Toyota held back. They watched as Tesla burned through cash, as startups rose and fell, and as governments flipped between policies and incentives. And behind the scenes, Toyota was building something different, something no one saw coming. They weren't just experimenting with electric motors, they were refining solid-state battery technology, the kind of breakthrough that could make traditional lithium batteries look ancient. It was a classic Toyota move. Don't jump first, perfect the system, then dominate quietly. And that's exactly what they were doing while everyone else fought for headlines. Because while Tesla built hype, Toyota built infrastructure. While startups focused on prototypes, Toyota focused on production, factories, supply chains, and partnerships that could scale overnight. And now, it's all paying off. Toyota's patience wasn't a sign of weakness, it was a strategy. A strategy that's about to shock the entire industry. But to understand how this comeback became possible, we need to look at the technology that made it happen. A technology so powerful, it could kill range anxiety forever. It started like any other Tuesday. No leaks, no teasers, no countdowns. Then, out of nowhere, Toyota made a single announcement that sent shockwaves through the internet. A fully electric car priced at just $17,999. No one believed it at first. Social media exploded with comments calling it fake, a hoax, or some kind of marketing trick. Because how could Toyota, a company known for reliability, not risk, suddenly undercut Tesla, BYD, and even budget EV startups by thousands of dollars? But it was real. And the reason it was possible came down to something the industry had been chasing for over a decade, solid-state batteries. Unlike the heavy, slow-charging lithium-ion cells in most EVs today, solid-state batteries use a completely different internal structure, lighter, safer, and far more efficient. In simple terms, they can hold more energy, charge in minutes instead of hours, and last for decades. And Toyota didn't just make one work in a lab. They figured out how to mass-produce it, the holy grail of EV engineering. That breakthrough alone slashed production costs, cut the car's weight, and opened the door to an electric vehicle that almost anyone could afford. $17,999 wasn't a marketing stunt. It was a declaration that the EV revolution had just gone mainstream. 
And as soon as the announcement dropped, everything changed. Tesla stock wobbled, other automakers rushed emergency meetings, and analysts everywhere started asking the same question. If Toyota could do this, what else are they hiding? Because this car wasn't just cheap, it was dangerously good. Reliable as any Corolla, faster than expected, and backed by a name the world already trusts. But that's not the whole story, because behind that shocking price tag lies a strategy that goes far beyond profits. Toyota didn't just build a car, they built a trap. Here's the thing, Toyota's 17,999 EV wasn't just about being cheap, it was about control. While everyone else was obsessing over range and acceleration, Toyota quietly focused on the real bottleneck of the EV world, the battery supply chain. For years, Tesla dominated because it owned its own battery production through partnerships with companies like Panasonic. That gave Elon Musk control over prices, materials, and innovation. But Toyota? They went one step further. They didn't just partner, they invested. Toyota poured billions into research labs in Japan, forming alliances with battery tech startups, universities, and chemical giants. Instead of relying on lithium mined overseas, where costs fluctuate and supply is unstable, Toyota developed methods to use cheaper, safer materials that could be sourced locally. That's the smart in the smart battery play. It wasn't just about inventing new tech, it was about owning the pipeline, from minerals to manufacturing. Their solid-state battery doesn't just last longer, it's simpler to produce. It needs fewer rare metals, generates less heat, and can be built using existing assembly lines with only minimal upgrades. That means while other automakers are spending billions to retool factories, Toyota can roll out production almost instantly. And here's where the genius comes in. They didn't patent everything. Some of their manufacturing processes are intentionally kept in-house and secret, so even if competitors catch up on the science, they'll still lag behind on scalability. It's like Toyota built a racetrack, and everyone else is still figuring out how to start their engines. The result? A car that doesn't just run on breakthrough tech, it runs on a supply chain fortress no one else has. But the smart battery play isn't just about domination, it's about timing. Because Toyota didn't roll this out randomly, they waited for the perfect global moment to strike. And when that moment came, it hit harder than anyone expected. When Toyota finally decided to go all in, they didn't just release a car, they unleashed an empire. You see, most automakers are still figuring out how to scale their EV operations. They build a few shiny prototypes, open one or two green factories, and hope demand follows. Toyota, on the other hand, already had the largest production network on Earth, and they knew exactly how to weaponize it. Factories in Japan, Thailand, Mexico, and Turkey were already pumping out millions of cars every year. So when the $17,999 EV was announced, Toyota didn't need to build new plants, they simply repurposed existing ones. Same tools, same workers, same supply lines, but now building the future instead of the past. That's the secret weapon no startup can match, efficiency at scale. Toyota's decades of experience in lean manufacturing, the same system that made them the gold standard of efficiency, now gives them a massive edge in EV production. Where other companies spend $40,000 to make a car, Toyota can do it for $18,000. Every bolt, every battery cell, every transport route, optimized to perfection. And that's not even the biggest part. Toyota's global reach means they can sell this car everywhere. They're not limited by infrastructure or politics. They can flood markets like India, Africa, and Southeast Asia, regions where EV adoption is still just beginning. In other words, while Tesla fights for dominance in the US and China, Toyota's quietly locking down the rest of the world. This isn't just a product launch, it's a global takeover disguised as an affordable car. By pricing it just low enough to crush competitors and by using their massive scale to absorb the hit, Toyota's betting on something no one else dares to, volume over profit. And that's where they're unbeatable. Because while others chase luxury margins, Toyota's about to own the middle class, the largest market on earth. But what happens when that kind of scale collides with innovation this powerful? It doesn't just shake the industry, it reshapes it. And that's exactly what came next. 
when Toyota revealed the car, everyone expected a stripped-down, bare-bones EV, something cheap, plain, and forgettable, the kind of car you buy out of necessity, not excitement. But what they showed stunned everyone, because this wasn't a budget box on wheels. It was sleek, modern, and unmistakably Toyota, the kind of design that made people double-check the price tag. Smooth edges, minimalist lights, and a bold stance that screamed confidence, not compromise. And inside, that's where things got interesting. Instead of overloading the cabin with flashy screens or unnecessary tech, Toyota focused on what actually matters. A driver-first layout, clean digital interface, and materials that feel premium without the premium price. They didn't try to copy Tesla's futuristic spaceship vibe. They made something human, familiar, and intuitive. Something you could hand to your parents, your kids, or your neighbor, and they'd instantly get it. But under that simplicity lies serious innovation. Toyota's new EV platform, called E3, Energy Efficiency Evolution, is modular. That means the same chassis can be used for multiple models, sedans, crossovers, even vans. One design, endless possibilities. It's the same trick Tesla used with its Model 3 and Y, but Toyota perfected it for mass production. Then there's the powertrain. With solid-state batteries powering ultra-efficient motors, this car can go from 0 to 60 in under 7 seconds, while offering up to 480 kilometers 300 miles, all while charging to 80% in just 10 minutes. No noise, no heat, no long wait times. Just plug in, grab a coffee, and go. But the most genius part? Toyota intentionally kept the software simple. No expensive subscription plans, no overcomplicated menus. They built it for the everyday driver, not the tech elite. And that's exactly what made it dangerous. Because while everyone else was designing cars for hype, Toyota designed for trust. The kind of trust that built decades of customer loyalty. And now, they've fused that reliability with next-gen tech, giving the world its first affordable, dependable electric revolution. But behind every design choice was a bigger motive, one that had nothing to do with looks or gadgets. It was about strategy, and it's the reason this car could change global economics forever. When Toyota dropped the $17,999 EV, the shock wasn't just in the price, it was in the aftershocks that followed. The entire industry panicked. Tesla's investors woke up to headlines screaming, Toyota just changed everything. BYD's stock dipped overnight. And smaller EV startups, they practically vanished from the conversation. Because this wasn't just competition, it was a system reset. For years, Tesla held the narrative. They were the face of innovation, the pioneers of electric dominance. But suddenly, the underdog from Japan, the company everyone accused of being too slow, had flipped the entire script. Elon Musk didn't ignore it either. Within days, Tesla slashed prices across several models, desperate to hold market share. But no matter how far they cut, they couldn't match Toyota's cost structure because Toyota wasn't playing the same game. While Tesla operates in a world of luxury margins and tech obsession, Toyota plays on scale, patience, and loyalty. They don't need to win headlines, they win households. They've built trust over decades in markets where Tesla hasn't even set foot. Meanwhile, over in China, BYD, once the unstoppable force in budget EVs, suddenly looked vulnerable. Toyota's arrival undercut them in regions they thought they owned. In Southeast Asia, Latin America, and parts of Europe, BYD's sales teams watched as customers lined up for a car they already knew and trusted, a Toyota. And then came the domino effect. Ford froze its EV expansion plans. Volkswagen called for strategic reviews. Even Apple, the company rumored to be developing its own EV, quietly went silent. Because Toyota didn't just build a car. They built a shockwave that shattered every assumption about what an electric vehicle could be. It's not the flashiest, it's not the fastest, but it's the one that could put an EV in every driveway. And that's what terrified everyone else. Because when a company with Toyota scale, reputation, and patience decides to move, there's no stopping it. The rest of the industry can only react, not compete. But even then, Toyota's real plan goes deeper than market disruption. 
it's not just about cars, it's about control of the entire future of energy. Here's what most people still don't realize. Toyota's plan was never just about one car, it was about control of the narrative. While every automaker rushed to declare a 100% electric future, Toyota quietly stepped back and said, why choose one path when we can master them all? Behind the headlines, Toyota's been building what insiders call a multi-path future, a strategy that doesn't bet everything on a single technology, but on a network of solutions. Electric cars are just one piece. Alongside them, Toyota's doubling down on hydrogen fuel cells, hybrid systems, and synthetic fuels, technologies that can adapt to any region, economy, or resource constraint on the planet. It's a move that looks conservative on the surface, but it's actually genius. Because while Tesla and BYD are all in on battery power, Toyota's positioning itself to survive any disruption. Battery shortages? They have hybrids. Charging infrastructure delays? They have hydrogen. Oil prices drop? They still win with efficient engines. In other words, they're future-proofing mobility itself. This multi-path strategy also means Toyota doesn't have to fight for dominance in one market. They can adapt to every market. In countries where electricity is expensive, they push hybrids. In nations investing in green hydrogen, they roll out fuel cell vehicles. And in the fast-growing EV regions, they unleash the $17,999 solid-state car that started it all. It's like a chess grandmaster controlling every piece on the board, while everyone else is betting the game on one risky move. And perhaps that's what makes Toyota different. They're not chasing hype. They're designing the future quietly, strategically, relentlessly. Their goal isn't to win today's race. It's to make sure they're still standing when everyone else runs out of energy, literally. The $17,999 EV wasn't the end game. It was the opening move. Because Toyota's not just building cars anymore, they're building an ecosystem. One that links transportation, energy, and sustainability into a single vision that could dominate the next 50 years. And once again, they're doing it the Toyota way. The stage is set. On one side, Tesla, the bold disruptor that rewrote the rules and turned electric cars into the new symbol of innovation. On the other, Toyota, the calm, disciplined giant that quietly watched, learned, and then struck. This isn't just a race for sales anymore. It's a battle for who defines the future of mobility itself. Tesla wants a fully electric world, fast, digital, and driven by data. Toyota wants a balanced ecosystem, practical, adaptable, and built for billions. One is sprinting. The other is strategizing. And here's the twist. Both might be right. Because the truth is, the future won't belong to just one vision. It will belong to those who can adapt, who can give people choice. Maybe in cities, you'll see Tesla's autonomous EV fleets zipping through smart roads, while in rural areas, Toyota's hybrids and hydrogen cars quietly power entire communities. The 17,999 EV was never just a product. It was a signal that the electric revolution is no longer a luxury dream. It's here for everyone. And when a company like Toyota enters that space, the entire industry shifts. Tesla will innovate harder, BYD will double down, and governments will race to catch up because this one move has redrawn the map. In the end, this isn't Toyota versus Tesla. It's a clash of philosophies, speed versus endurance, innovation versus reliability, dreams versus discipline. The next decade will decide which path the world takes and who leads us there. But one thing is certain, the battle for the future has already begun. And from this point forward, nothing in the auto industry will ever be the same again.